Hey, it's Tony Zaza. Welcome back to my kitchen for another Foodie Fridays. Today we are going to do a grilled tropical barbecue chicken and we're going to do it all with chicken breasts and veggies in foil packs. This is going to be quick and easy and super flavorful with uh, Memorial Day weekend coming up. Something easy you can throw on the big green egg. If you don't have a big green egg, you know you need to get one. They're the best things ever, but you can also do this in the oven. It is much better on the grill though, just because of everything that works together. So we're gonna use some simple ingredients on this one, some summer veggies. We've also got Wasi's Vintage Florida Rub, which is absolutely delicious for the veggies. And for the chicken, we're gonna use a base of Lane's Barbecue, a little spicy sauce with a little soy, some garlic. We're gonna put in some Qunami. This is gonna be tasty. And if you're ready, we'll take a look at the ingredients. First of all, before we get into that, I have to show you these Island Bamboo Paca Wood utensils that I picked up at Wasi's today. They have a ton of different colors. They have black, red, blue. I happen to be somebody who loves a lot of color and you can't go wrong with rainbow. So these are just absolutely super cool and awesome. Check those out. Go to Wasi's Meat Market. Dot com or stop into Wasi's if you live along the Space Coast. All right, ingredients for this dish. We need some aluminum foil. Got some beautiful red bell peppers, some zucchini, a can of pineapple slices in pineapple juice, that's key, some low sodium soy sauce, Lane's barbecue, a little spicy sauce, Lane's Qunami, Lane's garlic squared, and then Wasi's vintage sunshine rub and seasoning. This is awesome. The veggies are gonna love it, and so will you. Plus a little garlic and obviously some chicken breast, which I'm gonna thin out, cut in half, and we'll start putting this together. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the veggies. All these beautiful zucchini and bell pepper. Jet is standing by in case I drop anything. All these are going to go into a baggie. Olive oil. And about a half tablespoon of Wasi's Vintage Sunshine Rub and Seasoning. Seal it. And then just let them sit while we prep the rest of the stuff. All right, so we're gonna start to prep the sauce. I've got a cup of Lane's barbecue, a little spicy. I just put about a quarter teaspoon of garlic squared in. We've got about a teaspoon of Lane's barbecue, Qunami, two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. I'm sorry, two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of garlic, and then the juice from the pineapple. And then we're gonna mix that up. That smells amazing. Okay, so to prepare this, we're gonna put one of the chicken breasts right in the middle. Our sauce on top. I've already reserved some of this in a separate bowl for afterwards, so don't worry about me touching the chicken. Veggies. And then two pineapple slices, a little more sauce, and then a little more of Wasi's Vintage Sunshine Rub and Seasoning. That's it. I'm gonna roll it up and then repeat. Meal number one is ready to go. All right, so we've got the egg set at about 400 degrees. Our packets are ready to go on, and we are literally 
just going to set these up like so, shut it, and let them go for about 20 minutes. There we go. I smell it. I hear it. These are ready to come off. Take them inside. Do a little temp check on the chicken. And dinner should be ready. All right, so we got a bed of rice. You can slit little holes in these because they're going to be nice. All right. Just going to check it. We are good to go. Chicken breast. Pineapple rings. And veggies. This smells absolutely amazing. I hope it tastes as good as it smells. Connor does it? Yes. Are you lying? No. Okay, <laughs> mouthful of food. I trust that. I don't leave any out. There's that. The reserve sauce. And then just a tad bit more. Dinner's ready. So there it is, our barbecue tropical chicken with veggies on the big green egg. Summertime's here, that means it's time for Wasi's vintage sunshine rub and seasoning. All right, here we go. Spot on. Ooh, and it's got kick. Yes, this is awesome, easy breezy. All in uh, the tin foil, the whole meal, except for the rice. Cook the rice on the side. I did basmati rice, and it's perfect with this. Enjoy. The recipe will be down below. Happy Memorial Day weekend. And most importantly, take a moment this weekend to remember those men and women who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in protecting our freedom. Thank you for your service. We honor you and appreciate what you gave us. And to those men and women who continue to serve, thank you for doing what you do. Have a great weekend. Be safe. Please don't drink and drive. Bye.